from here to the Efwa Sutherland Children's Park for a program that we had arranged. However, we have been prevented uh, from doing so because there is a new directive that has come out from the authorities preventing any kind of activity. Being law-abiding citizens, we have uh, respected this. That is why you find us saying the things we have to say about why we are here at this very Obra spot. You remember that only some one week ago we felt it necessary to come together as presidential candidates to plead with all Ghanaians, to plead with the MPP also and the NDC especially, that what we want in this country is peace. Yes, you know that there can never be justice without peace, and there can also never be peace without justice. But you can also not have peace or justice without life. Already, it is very sad to note that some few people have already lost their lives during this election 2020 process. That is most unfortunate for someone to lose their lives just over voting. The presidential candidate of the LPG in the 2020 elections, Kofi Akbalu, urged the NDC not to be violent, use the court system to have their concerns addressed. Uh, we realize that, uh, especially NDC, uh, they deceive their people to go onto the streets, to burn ties, to block roads, and to do so many unnecessary things. And we realize that it is escalating and it's not going to help anybody. So we want them to stop those things. And if they have any evidence to prove their claims, then they can go to court because it's only in court that they can have proper redress. We don't want them to continue uh, pushing the young, innocent young men and women to be brutalized and be beaten by the police or the military. So we need peace in this country. And the only thing that we need now is peace. Most of our young men and women are not working. They need jobs. And the investors are not, will not come to open up businesses to recruit our young men and women. Those who have businesses will also not be able to continue or building up. So we want a situation whereby we can have a peaceful atmosphere to create jobs and to create wealth for our young men and women. Meanwhile, well, presidential candidates of the GCPP urged all stakeholders to work towards peace as that is the only way Ghana can develop. It's a peaceful country and we have to project that image around the world. We are a very peaceful country, we are very hospitable and we should not let the world think we are a place of mayhem. We just want jobs. We want to create a situation where people, we can build good roads, good hospitals, so when we are ill, you'll be properly taken care of. We, we have a lot of debts, we have to clear the debts. And if we don't create an environment where Ghana is peaceful, to be able to clear the debts, where are we heading to? The first, uh, the current president, in 2012, went through challenges. He went through the courts. The courts came out there with their decision. And he said, although he does not accept the decision, for the sake of Ghana, for the sake of Ghana, he will accept it. And we had peace. That is what should, should happen. In the agricultural sector, we need to improve the situation so that we can be the breadbasket of the world.